Dr. Crow, let's start off by just a little bit of a definition here. What are monoclonal antibodies and how do they help with this pandemic? Right, that's a great question. Uh, the antibodies are the body's natural defense molecules. After you've been vaccinated or infected, your body um, spreads lots of antibodies all over the body to protect yourself against getting reinfected. So with modern technologies, we can go in and sample the blood and pull out infection-fighting cells, white blood cells, and we can make a single antibody that can do the job for a particular virus. So that single antibody is called a monoclonal antibody. They've been used in cancer and autoimmunity. There's over 100 of these that are licensed for use in humans, but they haven't been used for infectious disease very much, and COVID is the first time where we see them really being deployed as an important tool for medical use. What a world we live in. Uh, <laughs> antibodies can be licensed. I love that. That's just, that's crazy. Um, let's talk about what the possibilities are, Dr. Crow, in terms of uh, helping humanity even beyond, beyond this pandemic. What else can we do with this kind of technology? Well, one of the most exciting things that's going on right now is that a new a use of antibodies, a new technology has been rolled out. So there are now what are called long-acting antibodies. Typically antibodies, after we give them, they have a half-life of only about three weeks. So they keep decreasing very rapidly and cleared from your body. But now there are uh, engineered antibodies that will last for a very long time. They're called long-acting antibodies. And one of these has now been uh, approved under EUA by the FDA for use in preventing COVID in high-risk individuals like immunocompromised people who can't be vaccinated. And so this technology is not only good for preventing uh, COVID now, but uh, now we know it's safe and it works, we can use it for other diseases. So we have launched a new initiative called AHEAD 100 to prepare and stockpile this type of technology the 100 most likely causes of future epidemics. You know, the technology is here now, we just need to deploy it. So doctor, how are we, if, if at all, employing it for this coronavirus, this pandemic? What are the applications? Well, most of the antibodies that have been approved under EUA by the FDA so far have been for uh, treatment or um, protecting someone after exposure. But there's a new one out now that was developed with, um, with my university, Vanderbilt University, in cooperation with AstraZeneca. It's called Evusheld, and this is a, a prevention antibody. So we give it uh, by just a shot. It's not an infusion, a, a shot that uh, prevents COVID. And uh, there are about 5 million people who have uh, risk factors or immunocompromised who cannot be vaccinated properly right now. So this drug is now available under EUA all over the United States for uh, patients at risk. So we're using it for COVID, uh, but at the same time, we're seeing that the technology is now available for other infectious diseases. And that's that's where our HEAD 100 program is all about. Yeah, what t t tell us what you're doing with that initiative, because you're not just um, uh, the director of the Vanderbilt Vaccine Center, you're also the chief scientist for AHEAD 100. What's that initiative doing? Well, this is a nonprofit entity. It's a uh, private public uh, consortium of companies, uh, state, local, uh, even federal government. Uh, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation has supported us, the Coalition for Epidemic Preparedness. So it's a lot of people who are thought leaders and technical leaders in the field have come together in this nonprofit. And the idea is to make monoclonal antibodies, not just for COVID, but for other diseases that might cause pandemics, like um, all the things you, you hear about occasionally causing threats, dengue virus, right. uh, chikungunya virus, uh, all these types of viruses that are out yep. in nature that have the potential to cross over. We want to be already ahead of time, not, not yep. be reactive, but have this stuff stockpiled. And this right. nonprofit consortium is uh, putting together the discovery, the manufacturing, and stockpiling, so we'll be ready.